and they wanted to create this event. So we did this um, stand um, where this is all 3D printed again, um, carried on site by visual visual merchandisers and assembled. And they had these artists, oh, if I go back, they had these artists, you can just see him standing in there and they were spray painting on the inside of it. Okay, um, so that's inside a shoe. Yeah, well, the, the look is it's a it's a giant shoe box effectively. Yeah, wow. So this was all cut out here, um, and this guy's head here. He was painting on the inside, um, you know, to create conversation about what was happening, um, something really engaging for the uh, for people who were just walking past, um, and just creating an event like there in a public space. So that's a, a really intriguing way of creating a pop up. So it's not just, um, you know, a table and, you know, a couple of retractable banners. This is really um, quite immersive. Mm. And, and that's a great example. Like it almost flips the script where, you know, with a pop up and you can just imagine, you know, that the entrance of the shopping center and they're standing there with people trying to hand out pamphlets and trying to create a conversation with people as they walk past and, the, well, I don't know about I don't know about you, but sometimes I I avoid those people. Yeah, um, I do. And whereas this, it's engaging. It draw, yeah, it would draw people in. It would actually yeah. attract people. Yeah, um, it makes people curious to find out what is going on in there. So mm. the whole thing was three D printed, was it? Uh, so this was flatbed printed, um, and then assembled into a three D item. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this one was printed onto a material called uh, reboard. Um, which I've got some more photos of and I'll tell you a little bit more about um, later.